I'm outside the Royal Courts of Justice as more than 100,000 students attempt to sue their universities over disruptions to their studies because of COVID and strikes. Uh, in other news, more than 100,000 students are attempting to sue their universities over disruption to their studies due to the pandemic and strikes by lecturers. Today, a High Court judge will decide whether the first case involving students from University College London can be dealt with in court. Alice is at the Royal Courts of Justice for us now. Hi, Alice. Tell us more about this. Good morning to you. Yes, I'm outside the Royal Courts of Justice where we've got students who are all gathered here and lawyers on behalf of these students will be arguing today that in the same way that if you booked a, a five-star hotel and you arrived and you got a two-star hotel, you will be entitled to compensation. They're going to be arguing today that it was breach of contract and therefore, like any consumer, they'd be entitled to compensation. Now, UCL are going to argue that they want to pause indefinitely in the proceedings and they want students to go through their internal complaints procedure or through the Higher Education Ombudsman. And last year, the Higher Education Ombudsman did receive record numbers of complaints and they paid out over a million pounds in compensation. But the lawyers are going to argue that students deserve their day in court. This is the right platform of it. But today, we'll very much against UCL set a precedent for all the other universities who are going to be closely watching this. And if the judge decides that the courts is the right place in which these legal proceedings can continue. It will speed up the process in many ways, but I think crucially more than that, it will be a recognition from the Royal Courts of Justice, from a High Court judge, that the, the situation for the students should be dealt with in court and that this isn't an internal matter for the universities to deal with. Alice, thank you.